When I first started programming, I thought success was about knowing the right frameworks and grinding leak code the second I got free time. I was wrong. The things that actually made me better had nothing to do with code. So let me save you some time with the four essentials I wish Tony Stark told me on day one. Point is, uh, you're welcome. First, First, caffeine. If that means coffee, energy drinks, or energy shots. Whatever your fingers need. Programming is a marathon. You're going to spend hours debugging the same function, staring at the same error. And if you're doing that exhausted, running on fumes, you're going to burn out fast. Caffeine isn't just about staying awake, it gives you that boost when you're stuck on a problem and need to push through. Almost every research shows that caffeine improves cognitive function, focus, and memory. That's a lot of power-ups to miss out on. Now I'm not saying start spamming energy drinks every time you code, but find what boosts you. Make coding sustainable, not miserable. Second, Git. And honestly, in my opinion, you shouldn't even have a CS degree if you don't know Git. I'm serious. Git is that essential. But most people treat it like a save button. They commit everything with fixed stuff and move on. Then everything breaks, and they have no idea which commit caused it. Git is your safety net, your time machine. Learn to branch properly. Write commit messages that actually explain what changed. Learn interactive rebase, cherry pick, bisect. When production breaks, and it will, knowing Git is what separates calm developers from panicking ones. Most people don't learn this until they're already embarrassing themselves on a team. Don't be that person. Third, Third. AI. And look, I know this is controversial, but hear me out. AI is great when you have questions and a random error pops up and you still can't figure it out after 30 minutes of staring at it. It's like the new Google, but instead of searching for answers, you just get them. But here's the thing, don't use it to code if you're actually serious about coding. Use it to learn from. There's a massive difference. If you're letting AI write all your code, you're not learning. You're just a middleman between a prompt and a compiler. But if you're using it to understand why something works, to explain concepts you're stuck on, to debug that one error that makes no sense, to learn new skills, that's different, that's smart. AI can be your teacher, your rubber duck, your second pair of eyes. Just don't let it be your brain. Learn from it. Don't depend on it. And finally, a humble brain. This separates Tony Stark from developers who plateau. When I started, I thought asking questions made me look weak. So I stayed quiet. I pretended I knew things I didn't. I wasted hours struggling alone instead of just asking for help. The best developers are humble. They ask dumb questions. They admit when they're confused, they're not trying to impress anyone. Humility is not weakness. It's a superpower. It lets you absorb knowledge instead of blocking it with pride. If you want to get good, you need to be okay with being bad first. Ask questions without shame. The best mindset you can have is, I can always learn. And speaking of learning the right tools, thanks to Let's Get Rusty for sponsoring this video. If you're a software developer, you've probably heard of Rust, the language everyone won't shut up about. It's fast, safe, and used by AWS, Microsoft, and Google for safety-critical systems. Let's Get Rusty is the go-to place for Rust training and job placement. They're laser-focused on Rust education and have helped thousands of developers master it. They're running a new cohort next month and spots are limited. If you've thought about learning Rust and landing a Rust job, visit letsgetrusty.com slash startwithshade or simply click on the link below. Here's the reality. You can grow in programming while also letting programming grow you as a person. It's your choice. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.